Hi, this is your host, Abhilin Bharti, and welcome to a brand new episode of TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us once again, Julian Fisher, CEO and founder of NNIS. Julian, it's great to have you on the show. It's great to be here. Julian, can you talk about, you know, any new additions, uh, features, additions that were made to the N9 platform recently? We've been working on uh, Kubernetes uh, in context of data service automation for a few years. And we've uh, done, we've created our own uh, Postgres operator. Uh, we will create more operators in the in the near future. But what we've seen is that a lot of our existing clients, they, they also now use Kubernetes. And they said, look, we love the N9's data services. We want to use them from Kubernetes. And pretty much as we've predicted, we have a lot of Kubernetes clusters. And we, we need to provide a database as a service to developers using Kubernetes clusters. How can we do that with the N9 data services? So now the situation is that we are going to add more data services also based on Kubernetes. So you have Kubernetes-based data services, you have virtual machine-based N9 data services, and how would they coexist? And how make you how do you make them use or how can make do you make them consumable by application developers? when application developer groups will own different Kubernetes clusters. That, that is basically the subject of the new Kubernetes integration. And it's not only about integrating the virtual machine-based Anylines data services in Kubernetes, but it's about central data service management in Kubernetes as its own topic. So the story behind that is the following. So even customers who, who don't care or whether there's a virtual machine or a pod behind it. Because in the end, for the application developer, it shouldn't matter. So what they say is, we know from the platform, the platform operator teams, they know providing application developers with the operational responsibility for databases could be problematic for various reasons. For example, because there are technological dependencies on run uh, the data service. Let's say there's a, a component, a Kubernetes extension that stays in conflict with another cluster scope Kubernetes extension or something like that. Or because you just want to have certain amount of control as the platform team over the data service instances because you want to be that second line of defense after application developers messed up. So we have this requirement was recurring to us um, and, and basically meant we need to solve central data service management for Kubernetes. So we came up with an integration framework. We had a Kubernetes integration in the past and we created a second generation uh, framework for allowing application developers to create their own service instances introducing a concept for service bindings, which is nothing quite common in Kubernetes, the ability to create uh, you know, credentials for accessing a data service, let's say a Postgres user, and also a Kubernetes secret in the application cluster systematically, so that if you have multiple apps accessing the same database, each app has its own dedicated user, and this is all automatically handled for you. So service bindings for Kubernetes is a thing we've added. And also, uh, integrating our famous backup and restore framework so that you can declaratively create backup plans and, uh, and, and individual backups and recover them, where all the actual heavy lifting happens somewhere else. So it's, it's basically you, you control your data services through your application cluster, but the data service instances, they run either as virtual machines or as pods somewhere else. And this, this will entirely abstract from, from where and what it's actually doing behind the scenes. Um, so you could create a Postgres on, as, a, as a pod-based version or as a virtual machine-based version, just like that. Julian, thank you so much for taking time out today and sit down and talk about these topics. Thank you, and I look forward to our next discussion. Thank you. Thank you.